All right, so here's the last part. Uh, speaking of thermal management, my DSLR is feeling very warm, taking lots and lots of video. It <laughs> caps you at 20 minutes so that you can't fry the sensor, but it doesn't stop you from doing 20 minutes one after another. So hmm, here we go. Uh, hopefully it doesn't melt before I finish this. So I've put this most of the way back together. Um, this is just the top, top and bottom lids. Um, the, the rubber feet, I've actually had, I put these big rubber feet on here when I first got it in 2007. Uh, this is actually the Zephyr, I believe, the, the oldest motherboard version, but it has the HDMI, which makes it, which makes it the Zephyr. So this is actually one of the oldest. It's not the original from, like, the launch, I don't think, because I didn't have HDMI. But the first version that had HDMI, that's what this is. And it made it all the way to uh, 2014 before it fried. So seven years of of pretty constant use before it red ringed. So I think these rubber feet probably helped a lot. Most people uh, did not have them and you basically just blocked the whole bottom vent, blocked any sort of convection that might happen at the bottom, which is probably very little. Anyway, so uh, I'm leaving those on. Here's the top. This is where the hard drive plugs in. As you can see I routed some wires and I have them hot glued to the chassis here as well as this. Uh, this switch is also hot glued to the chassis. By the chassis I mean this metal sled that everything screws into. I don't know if you can see that. There's hot glue. I hot glued all the connections in the bottom so it didn't short and then hot glued it to these and it sticks really well to these these uh, big circular holes. So. Um, Hot glue the wire just in four spots and just stuck it down. Um, and here you can see these metal grippy like spring tabs that uh, that kind of hold the top and the bottom of the chassis together. And I had to hack. I had to just take some some pretty stout wire cutters and hack this a little bit so they didn't cut my wire up. Here I'll show you the other non modified side. See, so it's just a uh, just got a bunch of metal spring tabs. I don't think they need all of them so I removed two. Um, anyway, so I'm going to put this plastic cover on which I have modified. Um, I just took a box cutter to it, took my time, start, started smaller than you think you need to and carved it out until it fit. And again I was fit checking this with uh, basically just dropping the chassis sled with the motherboard and all that, just dropping it straight onto the bottom sitting on the table and then that, that was enough that you could use these three tabs on this side to clip it in and uh, kind of do a test fit but you didn't have the top on so it was pretty easy to pull off. Um, so anyway, this is, uh, this is going on, so there's just these four tabs there. And this side's a little tighter because I have those wires that I'm kind of squishing down, but that's it. And this is what happens when you take your sweet time and uh, do it right the first time. So that looks, in my opinion, incredibly good for what's basically a sketchy aftermarket wiring job. Um, so, I'm going to throw in the last two panels. So, here's the bottom one. And then all that's left is the front. And these, these are nothing tricky about them. They just, you have to make sure you get the bottom ones all the way on so that this, because this actually snaps over them. And the bottom and top, I guess, these two gray panels. So, that actually captures those a little bit. Anyway, so looks pretty stock except for over here. This is original fan speed 12 volt override. It's a very nice mechanical switch that feels super solid and uh, moment of truth whether this all still fits and it does. So just for proof that this isn't a bunch of I'll just swallow up. This is plugged in here. Back this guy up here. Put 
you up. And this has the CD drive in it. <laughs> so no blinky green light. Sorry, I would zoom out, but this is a fixed focal length lens. So there you go. No red ring. And it is, uh, this is very, very, very overcooled from what it was originally. So, one last time before we just embark this ridiculous journey. So, here's the stock fan speed again. And then here's my little switch over here, the 12 volt override. So, just listen. So that's it. It's done. It works. And hopefully it never dies ever again. Uh, again, I'll have a bunch of links in the description to uh, the sites that I used for a lot of this. Um, the fan switch was kind of my idea. But uh, I will post a picture of my wiring schematic um, if you guys care. So you focus on that. It's ghetto. It's hand drawn. Uh, but it was an, it was more than about three wires, so I needed to do something. So um, always helps to be prepared, and this was simple simple wiring. Uh, there were no transistors that I used, no resistors, just wires and fans and power supplies and a switch. But it was enough to get lost, and I didn't feel like redoing it. So um, thanks for watching. Feel free to ask me any questions. Uh, I know this is probably about five years too late for most of you, but uh, it's always good to have another computer resurrected from the dead for playing games. So, thanks. Bye.